Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share a little update on this journal I'm working on for my Etsy shop. Uh, it is this book, a uh, cute little book, Marvin's Best Christmas Present Ever. And there's Marvin, and there's his Christmas tree. <laughs> Something happened. But anyway, I thought it was a cute little book. I've got, just as a reminder, I haven't worked on this in a little while because I finished... Uh, I had decided to finish the uh, little mini uh, book that I made, Christmas journal that I made. I finished that one completely first, and I'm kind of just I was doing three, and and then I uh, you know got the covers and everything ready on three, and then I kind of just am doing one at a time now that I've got the covers done, uh, just focusing on one at a time and finishing one at a time. So. Uh, yeah, this was the cover, just as a reminder so far. I've got a little cluster here covering up a barcode. And uh, the tie that's going to, closure that's going to wrap around, you know, uh, on here. And be really cute to tie on the side over here. And that's attached with an eyelet right here. And on the back, there's an eyelet. Uh, antique brass, I believe those are. And then, so the pages, I've probably got all the pages in here. I haven't sewn them in yet because I want to make sure uh, whether or not I need any more pages. It's already getting a little chunky, as you can see, uh, with just the pages in here. And I haven't add any, added any embellishments or ephemera yet, so <laughs> I'm kind of thinking I need to stop with the pages. So I stopped where I'm at with the pages. There's two signatures. Um, they're like this two signatures not sewn in yet here's this inside we've got fabric here and cardstock uh, Christmas cardstock front and back covers you know so uh, each signature starts out with a pretty Christmas card so this one has the one with the truck and you know red truck with the Christmas tree really pretty it says Merry Christmas right here and I'm kind of recycling some Christmas cards or repurposing them, I guess you could say. This one was not ever used. And this is the one I showed uh, in another video where I took it and attached it to one of these large, largish kind of index card dividers. And see, here's the A right here in the little tab. And I sewed on here some vintage little note paper with lines so that's sewn onto the back uh, you know half of this card okay then I have put some pretty memo paper right here that is Christmas pe Christmassy or stationary and so I used that I thought it was so pretty and I like the nice solid uh, back so I'm using that as the cover for the first signature and so the pages I've got in here so far are um, they're uh, Christmassy and uh, basic type of pages. So, like this is a page from a Christmas Ideals magazine. Any of the uh, magazine pages in here are all from Christmas Ideals magazine, but there's not very many. I'm just saying. So that's that. And then this is some more of the card Christmas card stock, and all of the Christmas card stock again I've spritzed and sprayed some green coloring on there. This is coffee dyed music. This is a page from a this is from this is from a cookie uh, Christmas cookie recipe book. That's a page from there and I have one of my paper coasters right here as a little decoration. This is my cranberry paper, coffee dyed graph paper, some pretty uh, dyed uh, tracing paper more cranberry paper and this is a page from a I think this page is from a children's dictionary and then this is regular coffee dyed you know plain coffee dyed paper this is a uh, coffee dyed lined paper from a composition book and then this is the center page right now it is a, you know the cardstock Christmas paper from that paper pad so that's the pages I have in here so far uh, have I decorated any more here? Let's see. I think I just, only other page I decorated in this first signature so far is this one right here. It was the page from the cookie, uh, 
cookbook, Christmas cookie cookbook, and it is a uh, green doily. So yeah, that's the first signature. And then the second signature is another pretty card, and this one was never used, although I don't know where I got it. It's just a never used uh, Christmas card. Maybe I, you know, sometimes I buy Christmas card or buy cards, and this might have been in a pack of unused cards from wherever I got it, thrift store, estate sale. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I put did put one of my paper coasters right here. I thought this back page needed something. It was kind of plain looking, so. I did put one over, you know, half and half on each side. So that's the front and back cover of the second signature. And then I've got this computer stationery here that I have shown before. It's coffee dyed, so it's really pretty on both sides. Some of the Christmas card stock with the green spray. Here's another one of my paper coasters on a page from an Ideals, Christmas Ideals magazine. This is also a really cute page here and really pretty. Look at that from an Ideals magazine. So cute. This is that older uh, vintage kind of uh, computer stationery with a little track here that used to fit into the printer. Uh, music paper that's been coffee dyed. This is a page from the Christmas cookie book, recipe book. Crit my cranberry paper. And uh, this is from a children's dictionary right here. And then the coffee dyed graph and the plain coffee dyed paper. This is another, the latest uh, computer paper stationery that I found at a thrift store. And this one, uh, I was as I was getting it ready last night, I said, oh, I need to coffee dye this. <laughs> so I quick put a bunch out last night and coffee dyed it overnight. And it, I, I love it. It was, you know, stark white here. And I love the coffee color here on the front and back came out really neat. So that's that in this signature. The coffee dyed composition book page and another car Christmas cardstock page. And you know, got my pockets um, on the pages that all the all the cardstock in here. I think I put pockets on all the cardstock and sewed them all. You know, I sewed all the pockets down. So that's where I'm at. I'm having fun with this. I'm going to, uh, I have some trim I want to add. Some really neat trim that I haven't used in any of my other, uh, because I just got it. I just found it at a thrift store in the last week or two. And so I want to use some of that in here because it's red and green and it's really neat. So that's going to be sewn on. And then I'm going to see what other things I want to do to the pages before I you know, sew the signatures in, and you never know, I might decide to add some trim. I'm thinking I might add some trim right here, too. Maybe even some of that new trim if it looks good with this green. Uh, I just think I need something right here. Uh, it just, uh, I don't know, it needs something, that's all I can say. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I'll let y'all go. See you next time, and uh, i probably do, I'm thinking I might need to do one more update before I you know, do the final flip through on this one, but uh, hopefully I have time to work on it and get it finished up by this weekend. And then I have one more that I'm working on, so I really do need to get those done and into my shop, right? So thanks for watching tonight and happy crafting. See you next time.